hey guys what's up it's your girl nia from charming lashes and i am back with another video and i'm basically going to be showing you guys what i do to set and prep my clients lashes for a lash application um i'm basically explaining it right now because in the next clip it's going to be the video of me doing it so i just wanted to come on here and just quickly give you guys a brief description on what i'm doing so yeah um a lot of lash techs are doing like it's it's a big business obviously you know you see i'm sure you see it everywhere now that people are doing lash extensions and it's just it's growing so one of the most important tips that i can give you guys is to clean your clients lashes before you put them on and when they come to you every two to three weeks for a fill you have to clean the lashes it's very vital it keeps their lashes nice and healthy um there's no bacteria buildup when you do it and obviously you need to encourage your clients to wash their lashes too because you don't want any type of fungi or any bacteria buildup in their lashes because that might just cause a retention problem and it might cause a health issue so i wanted to just bring this video on my page so you guys can have it as a refresher you can go back to to it and just watch it just to give you guys a little reminder what you should be doing for your lashes um i actually have this with me as you can see i'm not in my office i'm obviously not i'm in my room um so i just decided before i post post the video of me at the office doing the lash um doing my clients lashes i should just quickly upload this as well with me speaking to you guys so you guys can understand where i'm coming from this right here is what i use for my lash sets what i use to clean my clients lashes um basically what i do is i put it in the little pump bottles if i had one i would have showed you guys but i don't have it if not i'll insert a clip here or anywhere in this video for you guys to see what i use i actually i did put it in the video because i'm cleaning my clients lashes so you're gonna see it anyways this is just the concentrated bottle i basically um pour them in smaller bottles and i actually sell them which is a good lash tip for you guys if you guys are working by yourself and you want to just make a quick extra buck um if you want to make just some extra change or a little bit of money go ahead and buy this and resell it and that in turn not only will make you more money but it will help your clients to clean their lashes because sometimes they just don't know what to use to clean their lashes and using micellar water and baby wash or whatever yeah that cleans your lashes but that's not enough this is specifically meant for lashes some people might be using micellar water or um another product and that might contain oil which in turn will mess up your retention so yeah you basically want to make sure you know what your clients are using when they wash them and just suggest to them this prolong lash get you some of this it's really really good so yeah in this video i'm basically going to be cleaning the lashes and like putting the under eye patch and everything so you might know how to do that I'm, I'm sure you do as a lash tech but this video is just a refresher for a newcomer or any new lash artist that just needs a little refresher or didn't really get the understanding of what you're supposed to be doing so in this video i will be showing it so if you have any comments or any other video ideas that you would like me to do go ahead and comment down below and i will get back to you within the 24 hours with a comment or with a video so yeah guys just keep on watching go ahead and subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment down below as to what you would like to see next okay guys so i decided to come on here and just do a quick little voiceover to explain what products i'm using i'm starting off with the prolong lash cleanser i showed it in the video for you guys i actually made my own bottle and then i'm going to go in with my microfiber um, applicators that's what i'm going to use for my primer i'm using the brush to um, cleanse her lashes i'm going to put everything down in the description box so I also have my hydrogel gel patch and it's basically my under eye patch and that's what I use to cover the bottom lashes when I start to lash. Um, I also have the regular, it's like a sensitive tape that I cover up her bottom lashes just in case anything, you know, the tape um, shifts. I have my 3M surgical tape and I'm going to be showing you guys how I use both of them in two different ways. Um, so you're going to see one eye I'm going to be using the regular tape and the next eye I'm going to be using the surgical tape. I also recommend the Next Care Blue Surgical Tape. It's very, very good. I use that now, um, so I'm not really using the under eye patch anymore. I just stick with the Next Care Tape. But as you can see, I'm going in with my Pro Long Lash Cleanser and the brush, and I'm just cleansing. 
out the client's lashes i'm removing all the oil all the makeup all whatever she came in with i'm just removing it because you want to start off with a clean base no oil no anything so that in turn can have a better retention so you're just going to see me doing that on both of her eyes So because we're actually doing a video, I couldn't really like use the water and like rinse off the lash cleanser. So I just got a wet paper towel, a wet cloth, and I literally just wiped off the residue of her lashes with whatever the cleanser had on her lashes. So next I'm going in with my Lashbox LA Primer and you're going to see me come out with the microfiber um, applicators and I'm basically just taking a little bit of the primer and I'm going through the lashes with it. Most, um, I don't want to say most, some lash techs should just wash the lashes and then just go straight in with lashing or some just go in with a primer i recommend if they come in without like you don't visibly see any dirty um dirt on their lashes just to be on the safe side wash it if not if you don't feel like it's necessary you can go in with the primer and just run it through me i just play it safe i wash their lashes and i use the primer that's just how i do it Next, you're going to see me come out with the fan and I'm basically just making sure that whatever I put on her lashes is at least dry. So when she opens her eyes and I ask her, you know, for me to put the under eye patch and stuff, nothing goes wrong. So I'm just playing it on the safe side. <laughs> Okay, so for this first eye, you're going to see me come out with the under eye patch gel, um, the gel patch, and I'm basically just putting that on top of her bottom lashes. I'm trying to cover as much as I can so that if it's fully covered and I, see, I don't see any movement, I don't bother putting the bottom tape just to cause less irritation and no teary eyes while I'm lashing. But if they happen to have coarser bottom lashes or thicker bottom lashes and you feel like you need to tape it down as well, go ahead and do that. i rather you tape them down and be secure so while you're lashing it doesn't interrupt your lash time because you have to keep stopping and retaping. I also like to ask my clients to um, feel as if they're okay. Like I tell them to close their eye and then I say, does everything feel okay? Just to make sure that they don't get irritated and their eyes get watery. And in order for that not to happen, you wanna make sure you are not really touching their waterline because that can cause them to tear up and that would just wet up all their lashes while you're lashing and cause a retention issue as well as your glue not working or curing and everything. So you just wanna make sure that everything is good. So next, I'm going to go in with my microfiber tape, and it's um, the sticky tape. Basically, you don't need tape to hold it down. It sticks in place. That's the tape that I usually stick with. I don't really use the under eye patch anymore. If I'm not using the 3M tape, I'm using the Next Care Surgical Tape. It's blue. I really, really like that tape. It's super gentle. 
And that's it for this video, guys. As you can see, it's a nice base. You can see all her lashes. It's going to be easy for you guys to apply. So this is just a quick little video to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and comment any more ideas of videos you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.